Hi everyone, welcome to my floss tube, north of the border stitcher. It's, what's, what's wrong baby? What's wrong? What's wrong? Huh? It's the Sherry and Chevy show today. Anyway, this is my little puppy Chevy. He is nine weeks old and we are loving him. The cats are not loving him. And he kind of wants to play with the cats, but they're like, no, we don't, we don't want to have anything to do with this. So it's been a learning experience. We're training him. He's training us and we uh, are having lots of little accidents. And um, so he's learning and we'll get the hang of it. So we just clean up and move on and, and he's a good boy, aren't you? Aren't you, Chevy? You're a good boy. Hmm? Oh, yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put him down now so he can go chew on his toy, hopefully, and not furniture. And we'll go on with the show. There you go. There you go. There you go. Did you just throw on the floor? I think you just peed on the floor. Anyway. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, this is North of the Border Stitcher. Uh, my name is Sherry. I live here in Raymond, Alberta, Canada. I'm from Pennsylvania. Um, thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel and welcome to those who are new. I hope you um, would like to subscribe. I talk about cross stitch, crocheting, quilting, needlepoint, puppies, <laughs> whatever comes to mind um, and some sewing sometimes. So anyway, um, please like my video and subscribe and um, I'll tell you a little bit about how life has been for the last week for me, other than getting the puppy and we've been very busy with him. Um, he wants to play with the cats. They, they don't want anything to do with him. I have to keep their food up now because he tries to eat the cat food as well as his dog food. Um, but we're enjoying him. We're trying to teach him now not to chew on our fingers and bite our heels and stuff like that because he just likes to bite everything. Um, this past week, uh, I had two grandchildren birthdays, so we made treats and delivered them to them. We usually do that and then give them some money. Um, Ira and Callie both turned 18 in my mouth now. Um, Ira wanted an Oreo cheesecake, so I made him a no-bake Oreo cheesecake, which turned out really well, and Callie got a pineapple upside down cake, so, um, and their families met our puppy. Um, last Tuesday, my husband and I went with some friends to Waterton Park. Um, it was a, a lovely day. There's waterfalls and um, wherever we hiked, it said, warning, there have been bear in the area. So we didn't want to go too far off any kind of trail or where people were. So we had a lovely day, had some ice cream and, um, there's been a lot of smoke, um, here from the fires out in British Columbia and down in, um, Oregon. Um, so it's been kind of cooler the last few days because, of the smoke and the cloud cover. Um, but today is kind of warm, so it's supposed to be up in the mid thirties, uh, the rest of this week. Um, so I plan to stay inside and stay cool unless I'm taking the puppy out to go to the potty. Um, last weekend there was a quilt retreat here in Raymond. It was just a daily one at the local ag building. Um, 14 women went. I wanted to go, but I didn't because my husband was on vacation. And so I figured I should spend, um, time with him rather than, um, with some sewing friends. Um, but my friend Shirley went with me over there to visit them on Friday afternoon and see the different projects that they're working on. And I told them to get in touch with me when they have the next one, which will probably be in January. And, um, one thing they did was a round robin. And so there were about eight to 10 um, just quilt tops hanging up. Um, each person designed their 
the inner square and then they pass them on to six different people who put another border around each one. And it was interesting to see the different colors, um, the different patterns, the different things that people did. Um, it, it was beautiful. A lot of, a lot of quilting, um, and some talented, um, quilters in that group. Um, so I just went to visit that on Saturday, Friday. Um, Last night was a dinner group. There's maybe 12 to 16 of us here in town that like to get together once a month. We hadn't been doing it for a long time because of COVID. And um, so we did that last night and I took some homemade baked beans, a recipe from my mom. She was from Georgia in the South. And um, I inherited her recipe box. And in that box, there is... Bill's favorite baked beans written out on recipe cards like 10 times. So um, obviously it must have been a big hit at the reunions when we went to Georgia. So I got that recipe out and I made that. It has bacon on the top and um, it was a big hit and we had leftovers. And so I'm giving some of those away to friends. And then tonight we're going to have bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches with baked beans and a watermelon that I bought yesterday. So um traditional summer fair. Uh, let's see. I didn't get any um, of my long arm quilting done this past week, um, mainly because I've been watching the puppy a lot and I don't want to take him down in there. I don't want him chewing on things. And I don't want him to have an accident in there. So I haven't done that, but I've been doing a lot of sewing. And um, so I do have some fully finished uh, things that I want to show you. So I've been doing the Christmas in July or Jolly July. And um, in one of my first floss tubes, I showed everybody um, these Silent Night. They're five by seven. And I finished like about four or five of them to give to uh, family members at Christmas. So um, I finished this one is framed. And this one is framed. And these are frames that I've gotten through my thrifting. So I've got two Silent Nights finished. And another project that I started last, or a couple weeks ago, is finished. This is um, Our Savior's Birth. It's a free design by Plum Street Samplers. I found this on Pinterest. And I used all the called for floss on 14 count tea dyed Ada. This is also a thrifted frame. That I got and so that is one fully finished Christmas in July so I was happy with that and then I've been sewing a lot this week and this one's got a thread I made a cat project bag and this one is going to contain my Al Forest embroidery um, this is a free sample, I mean a free pattern. And I'm going to be doing this on the, um, like the sage color Ada that my friend Lorraine gave me. So I'm doing my cat on that. So all that stuff goes in my cat project bag. I made five project bags. So this one is just a fall one or it could be Halloween. And... So I just had a, an extra piece of that. I sewed it on upside down, but anyway. So that's a fall bag. I made a Halloween bag. And I made two Thanksgiving bags or fall, autumn kind of bags with um, some orange and black some orange leaves. So I made two of these. They're the same except for the the um, one has like a pink and one has a blue recycled zipper in it. So I made five project bags this week. So that was a big finish. Um, my other Christmas projects that I've been working on for Christmas in July was the Prairie Schooler. Uh, songs of the season and I've been working on this one down here um no not that one sorry peace on earth goodwill to to men 
and this is how far I've gotten on that. Um, I'm using the 18 count pearl gray Ada. Um, it calls for pussy willow gray, but I didn't have that. And I had this, I had bought this. So uh, quite a few people had said that they thought it would go well. And I think it, it looks pretty good. So I'll be doing those. So that's on pearl gray, 18 count Ada. That's as far as I got on that one. And I've been working on my 12 days of Christmas, my McCall's from 1983. So I've gotten more of my 11, no, 10 Pipers piping, and I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six of my 11 ladies dancing. So um, I enjoy this. This is 32 count linen, and I'm using all the DMC colors that they called for back, back in 1983, back in the day. So I'm actually starting to like that one a little bit better. I, I like even weave um, more than like linen, but it's been coming along and I enjoy that. So that's what I've been working on Christmas wise. And then I only have two other projects that I've been, that whips that I've been working on over the last week. And one is my moon phase bell pool. I just did a little bit of the bottom and I've been doing along the edge. <clears throat> This is on um, Ada that I dyed because my chalkboard Ada was back ordered. And this is the pattern by Tiner, Tiny Modernist. Um, it's the waxing, wais, waning, and full moon phases um, that my granddaughter had talked to me about. So I'm making this for my granddaughter, Maddie. And let's see, so that's my progress on that. And then I've also been working on O, o Canada, the uh, stitch along that I'm doing on a Canadian cross stitch Facebook page and on Instagram. Um, and this is how far I've gotten on that this week. I think I'm about halfway finished. That's pretty much where I need to be to stay on track to finish it by Labor Day. Um, this past week I worked on the, the leaf border along the top. Um, the fleur de lis and my little salmon over here that are swimming. Um, I haven't worked anymore on my polar bear. He's white over here and I don't know that I'll have enough contrast. So one of my subscribers said to maybe outline him in gray so that you can see him a little better. And that's probably what I'll do. Like with a beige, more, yeah, something that'll bring attention to the shape of the polar bear. So... That's what I've been working on. Um, as far as haul, and I'm talking a little faster um, because I taped this before and it cut out on me, so I wanna make sure that I get everything in before my phone decides that it doesn't wanna to listen to me anymore. Um, recycled haul, I got some free uh, picture frames um, after a yard sale this past weekend with glass and some are bigger, some are smaller. Um, and I also got a free, um, like old fashioned flower sifter that you turn the little handle. And so I'm going to use those for a couple of my finishes down the road. Um, that's the, that's only the recycled haul I have. I had, didn't get to any thrift shops or anything like that in the last week for my regular haul. Um, Although I've been trying not to spend money, but I am, um, I found a new site online and loved their stitches. Um, it is Cherry Hill Stitchery, and I downloaded PDF versions of two of their um, stitches. This one is called An Autumn Wish. I just, I love the shape of the lettering on these. And so that one says, may our lives be full of thanks and giving. And it calls for DMC and some over dyed. Um, so I got that because fall is my favorite season. Um, so I downloaded that one. 
And then I also downloaded this one called Autumn Leaves um, by the same, by Cherry Hill Stitchery. And this says Autumn Leaves and Pumpkins, Please. And like it has this really cool blue as the little flowers. And some other weeks over dyes. So that was, um, I've had some haul because I went to the local needle shop yesterday and I had ordered some floss too. And I've got three skeins of this Noel. So I need something to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to have to do some kind of Quaker thing or something like that for the holidays. I'm not working on the Quaker Christmas, but I've seen a few Halloween ones and we'll talk about those in another week. Um, but anyway, so cherryhillstitchery.com. I'll put that in the link below. So those are two new um, autumn pieces that I just downloaded and got floss for. Um, yesterday I was in the dollar store and I found these. So I got one of these corrugated square ones. Um, one that's shaped like a mason jar. I could only find one of these. I should have to check a couple of the other shops. And this one, which is just an oval. And I plan to use those for some finishes. Can't beat that for $1.25 for some really cool shapes. Um, and at the dollar store yesterday, I also bought myself some more um, stickers because I don't have the book of days that everybody um, talked about or got at the beginning of the year. I made my own uh, from, oh, I can't leave that out printables and inspirations.com. So um, two page um, calendars. So this is the one for July. And so I've been getting my own stickers and sticking them on there. And I have a lot of Christmas stickers there for my Christmas in July. And so these are the stickers I bought yesterday. Um, I like these because they got farm animals. Like I've got a couple cross stitches that I'm working on that have cows. I have a chicken cross stitch going on. I've got, um, like, here's a couple little um, scarecrows in there. There's barns and tractors, and I just thought those were cute. So I plan to use those stickers in my homemade book of days. So that was from the thrift, from the dollar store yesterday. And I also recently just got um, Teresa Kogut's Silhouettes. Um, and that's going to go in the Halloween bag that I just made. Um, it calls for swamp water and guacamole by Weeks Dive Works. But instead of swamp water, I am using Onyx. Which is like a dark brownish kind of green. So I'm using Onyx. And instead of the guacamole, I'm just using number 733 of my um, DMC stash. Because there's just little parts where... There's green in the pattern. And I'm using um, an 18 count Ada that I dyed. It was supposed to come out brown, but it came out more of a, an orangey color. So I think that that's gonna be great for my Silhouettes. And that's going in my Halloween bag. Um, right now it's Christmas in July or Jolly July. Uh, when August comes around, it's going to be autumn, August. And that's what I'm going to be um, sewing, stitching. So I'm going to do hashtag autumn, August. And you can just put pictures on Instagram of whatever you're stitching in August. So I plan to start with some Halloween things and my autumn pieces and maybe put my Christmas, you know, in a slower rotation. So, um, freebies. Go over freebies real fast. Um, I just have two today from Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting. Um, this one came out in November of 2020. This is part of her Primitive uh, Homes um, little patterns. And this is Primitive Winter Home. 
uh, and I'll put all the um, everything down in the notes below. She just uses pieces of um, DMC that she has that she likes. And so that's the Primitive Winter Home. And then the other one just came out in April that she put out. It's called Bee Sampler. And I like doing samplers. And it, these aren't very big stitches. Like this one is just 41 by 49. So they, they, this should go up pretty quickly. And this one is 33 by 45, the home one. So those are my freebies this week. Oh, from Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting. All right. So I have some other things that, uh, some freebies that I want to talk about next week. I look forward to um, filming next week. So this now has gone on 21 minutes. So it's still flashing. So I know everyone is still there. <laughs> So anyway, I am going to let you go. I hope that you have a lovely week stitching. Um, and stay inside if it's hot and contemplate Christmas in July. And maybe that'll help cool you off. And I will, Chevy and I will be back next week and let you know how things are going for us. So happy stitching and have a great day.